the scope, and it's a totally, uh, it's a totally different philosophy. Uh, I think the ICC has an ADR program, which is a very open program where the um, same AP has a number of various uh, services like mediation, arbitration, early neutral evaluation, technical evaluation, adjudication, and so on. So very uh, diverse um, services right. instead of one general one, and then you negotiate within the, the program what kind of service you want. So, so, so CMAP is actually a lot broader in terms of the services that it provides with oh, respect yes. to mediation. It's absolutely, a, absolutely. Okay. And the ICC has, for the last, only the last few years, also offered an ADR service mm -hmm. that they mm -hmm. provide. Mm -hmm. and they, have a, they have a recommended clause for their contracts. I imagine mm -hmm. CMAP also has a similar recommended clause for their Absolutely. Yeah. Well, the CMAP has several. They have only one. The, the ICC has one clause for one service, which is a very broad service. They're point and neutral, and then you decide the type of ADR you wish. Right. Uh, which makes sense, yeah. provided the neutral, the parties and their councils are well aware of what ADR is, how to handle it, what kind of service you need. CMAP philosophy is the opposite. This is not a good solution or a bad solution. It's two different solutions. Where you will first decide, discuss with them the type of service that you will need, then you will sign a contract for that type of service, and, and they will appoint the neutral depending on the type of service you want. So, so in theory, you get more flexibility out of the CMAP, or you, you may get more flexibility. Well, it's, it's just, if, you, if you just don't know what to do, right. you, uh, the... the uh, the ICC program is probably uh, better. It's more open. Okay. If you if you have a better idea, if you get a better idea after talking to CMAP, they give you a very dedicated service. It's, okay. It's, uh, it's a different way of handling a matter. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, you, you mentioned that the CMAP. Well, actually, you didn't mention the CMAP stands for mediation and also arbitration. So mm -hmm. CMAP also also offers arbitration services. Yeah, given that you you also do disputes as a lawyer, how do, you, how do you rate the arbitration services provided by the institution compared with other leading arbitration service providers? Uh, if you're talking in terms of reputation, uh, probably the, uh, the 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 arbitrators appointed by the ICC are better known. ICC chartered institute of arbitrators and all this. Right. Uh, long-standing uh, institution in arbitration. I bet now they've been all over and so on. The, uh, the, the, the panel of the um, uh, CMAP is uh, comprised of absolutely remarkable people. I think I know them all and they are, they are very learned uh, law professors and, and lawyers and business people and uh, uh, former judges and so on. Very high quality people uh, they have some of them have very good international culture and perfectly able to to handle these kind of cases. They are cheaper, much cheaper than most uh, other institution, and uh, they handle things in a more expeditious way. They have a standing uh, tribunal so that if you have a really urgent matter, you can you know, avoid the whole process. Of appointing the tribunal, so that goes very fast. And they, and they obviously can handle arbitrations or mediations that are with international yes, parties and, and, and languages other than French. Absolutely, and, and they have also a MedArb uh, procedure, which is very interesting. Which MedArb, which is mediation, arbitration, and right. arbitration, which is actually called the simultaneous MedArb, which means that you would have a mediation and arbitration going on at the same time, wow. that one team would be working on the arbitration rights, the other ones probably, the more operational people rather than the lawyers, would be trying to mediate the case and find a solution. You stop the arbitration if you have a solution Very interesting. with mediation or you go on with arbitration once the mediation is failed. It's pretty efficient. So, pretty you, efficient. so you, you don't see any issue at all. So for example, if a, a choice were given among different arbitration institutions. Uh, well, let's, let's put it this way. If a French customer to, were to insist on arbitration before CMAP, an inter international company like, for example, Mine General Electric shouldn't have any difficulty with that. It's a good, solid, fair, expeditious institution, 
And no one is going to be given a home court advantage just because it's a French. You would, you would simply, uh, first of all, they have arbitrators from other jurisdictions. From other countries, right. Okay, or at least originally from other jurisdictions. If Americans start German right. and so on. No, my, so my, point, you know, my point is that, so, so for exactly this one, and, and that is just because they, have the, the, they are a Paris-based institution and they were formed by the Paris Chamber of Commerce doesn't mean that they are here to favor French business. Absolutely, like the London Court of International Arbitration is not supposed to be English. Right. So, it, it's, it's, so the international party can have every expectation that they will be given a fair and equal treatment, just the same as a French party. In they, the would be, they would be um, probably better treated. Just probably probably better, yeah. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they are international. International, <laughs> <laughs> so, absolutely. I you know, it's actually interesting. I, 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 I sometimes wonder about the sort of myth of the home court, we call, what we call the home court advantage. And I think that very often the local, you know, the real legitimate local institutions and players may actually favor the non-local party because they want to demonstrate <laughs> that they're not favoring yeah, yeah. the, the local party. Too yeah. chauvinistic. Yeah, yeah that's so right. Um, let's say we're negotiating a large contract and the, the, the international parties or the parties are one is an American company or it could be an English company and the other is a French or Italian company um, and the, uh, the proposal is to include, by one of the parties, to include mediation uh, in the contract. The first question is, is, is that something the parties ought to consider doing? Well, I think yes. I mean, it's, it's too bad going to, uh, to litigation after having exhausted, exhausted all possible ways of, of agreeing together. And I personally believe that mediation is really facilitated negotiation, right. but that if you have difficulty at the end of a mediation, of a negotiation, you should certainly try um, mediation before going to litigation. Okay, well then, then let's say, then let's, let's put it this way, that do, we would say that a mediation clause or a mediation requirement is part of a dispute resolution clause mm -hmm. before going to court or to the arbitration is, is what we would say is almost a no-brainer. In, in your view, should the mediation requirement be mandatory? In other words, the parties must go or must attempt mediation prior to commencing court proceedings or arbitration. That's what I do in all the clauses that I draft. Yeah. And, and, and under the laws of this country, if you have such a clause, you better abide by it, otherwise your claim will not be accepted in court. But why, why, why do you do that? Why, you know, I, mean, I, I agree with you, but why, why do you do that? Because I want to be sure before I go to litigation that litigation is the way to solve the matter. Mm -hmm. So I want to take all possible assurance that you know really no yeah. possible amicable settlement is possible. Yeah, I'll tell you. Um, little, but yeah, one of the reasons I, I do it is, is very simple, and that is in many of our international contracts, you know, we we uh, deal with parties.